Good morning everybody. Today we're down here at Lake Tanny Como. Gonna check it out, see if we see any wildlife, see how full the lake is, and enjoy the peaceful morning here in the woods by Lake Tanny Como. If you would like our video, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, check out all our other videos, and with that, let's check out Lake Tanny Como here. Walking down this trail. See how full it is today. My guess is it's still, from this angle of what I can see, it's still flowing, so water must still be coming out of the dam. Oh, actually, could be a little lower than last, yeah, it's lower. Might be able to walk a little bit, not much, but. Yeah, last time I was down here, the water was all the way up here. I couldn't get past right here. So yeah, it's a little lower today. They might have, might have stopped releasing water maybe. Not too sure. But definitely some beach here, a little bit. We got some ducks across the way. Some birds flying in right here. Right above me. Yeah, definitely a little lower. Might not see any, might not see any boats coming up this way. There is a boat over here. A little ways down there. Yeah, it's definitely lower. Here's the, no, actually that's probably like a seven foot, five, seven feet little drop right here that was completely underwater last time I was down here. Ducks are there across the way. There's a boat over here. But yeah, I can actually walk all along this area a little bit. It's probably everything's slippery because Let's see, today is Friday as I'm recording this. Yesterday I went to Silver Dollar City. The day before that I was videoed. Wednesday would be Table Rock Lakes. I haven't been down here since Tuesday and today's Friday, so. I actually kind of like it when it's a little low like this because then I can, I don't have to just stand in one spot for you guys. I can move a little bit. But yeah, definitely a little lower. Not sure if we'll see any boats cruising up. It might still be deep enough for some boats to make it up here, but. You can hear the birds in the trees and you can tell it's definitely getting a little chillier. The trees are, the leaves are definitely changing colors. Probably start falling off here pretty quick. Yeah, I like to see the lake full, but with doing videos, it definitely helps when it's a little lower to where I can walk up and down the shoreline a little bit. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, so this is Friday, so two, three days. It's dropped a bunch. So my guess is as soon as they stop letting water out of the dam, or maybe they just control how much comes out, the water doesn't stay full down in this area by the dam. There is Table Rock Lake Dam right up there. I'm all the way down at the dead end spot.
my second spot where I have to hike down the mountain a little bit. There's actually some trucks parked there. So they're probably able to get down to the lake to do their fishing right there. Tree knocked down here. Gotta go up and over. Oh. Pretty nice when I can walk a little bit. That's about as far as I can go though here. This direction. You can tell it's getting lower though. There's a little island there in the middle. Not too much water there on the left. Probably the next time I make it down here, probably won't be, let's see, tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, let's go Monday maybe, so a couple more days it might be back low. Looks like there's some, I might have to get out my cell phone to use that camera to zoom in, but it looks like there's some geese across the way. And there's a little water spill wake running into the lake there. Water's still flowing though, out there in the middle. Definitely hear the birds chirping and stuff though. Not sure if the camera's picking it up, but when the lake was all full of fuller, the past couple times I've been down here, you really didn't hear the birds or anything. The Table Rock Lake Dam, right over there, behind me, if you're picking it up. If not, it's a peaceful morning down here though. The lake is a lot lower than it's been the last couple times. Last couple times I wasn't able to walk down here and all this right here was all underwater. I feel like I walked through a spider web. Pretty cool. I'm gonna actually probably switch over to my phone right now, camera, to see if I can zoom in better on those birds. It might be geese over there. So I'm going to switch to my phone. The audio is going to be a little different. Sorry guys. Right now. Alright, on my phone camera here. I'm going to zoom in on these birds over there the best I can. I know the more I zoom, the shakier it gets. Yeah, it looks like those, that's all the zoom I got here. Looks like those are geese. Bunch of them hanging out over there. I haven't seen the geese for a few times I've been down here since the lake's been full. Pretty cool. I'm gonna go slowly because when I'm zoomed in, gonna go over to this little water spillway over here. There it is. Call that a waterfall, would you? Not really. But water running down into the lake. Bring it back over this direction and zoom in on the dam. There's the Table Rock Lake Dam. Right down there and you can see a car going over it. And just on the side over there, that's where I turn off to come down here. Oh, looks like there's a bunch of people over there fishing today. Bunch of people in the water fishing. Pretty cool.
I'm gonna walk back over this way and see if we can zoom in on that boat if it's still over here. Look at this tree root system when it's out of the water. Pretty wild looking. Just a couple days ago, this was probably all underwater. Well, not probably definitely was. Might have to see if I don't know for sure, but nah, actually probably Monday will be the next time I'm down here. I was going to say I should try to come out here this weekend to see if it gets even lower tomorrow's our once a month date day i think we're going to silver dollar city maybe let's see if i can zoom in on these ducks over there some ducks right across the way i guess i can get them a little bit probably shaky but maybe not there's the little drop off that you have to go on top of but there's the one lonely boat down there can't really see the back of it if it's just a trolling motor boat or even just oars a rowboat because the lake is lower over this little side probably why I haven't seen any boats come up here with motors on them yet today there's that little drop off that was all underwater the last time I was here there's the trail I came in on and you could barely get Probably four or five feet past that sign, the water was all the way up to. It's so, pretty nice when it's not so full that I can walk a little bit. Probably said that a bunch this video. There's those geese over there. Oh, look, I think I even got a. That crane right there just took off flying. Oh, might even been one going the other direction. I just got some, a couple cranes on video. There's all the, all those people down there are all fishing. This lake is, I think, if not a hundred percent. Oh, sorry for the fast turn, but there's a the crane. Forgot where I was going. Oh, I was saying this lake, if not 100%, here comes another one, is 98%, I think, a bunch of trout, mainly trout in Lake Tanicomo. Cool, saw some crane, saw some geese. Lake's a little lower, so I was able to walk a little bit. See if I can get those ducks across there again. There they are. Some ducks just hanging out in the lake. You can definitely see the lake still flowing though.
waterfall. Probably wouldn't call it a waterfall, but hey, it's water and it's falling. So maybe next time I'm maybe next time I'm down here, I'll be able to stop off at my second spot up there and hike down the mountain a little bit and be able to get a little closer to the dam. It is kind of cool when you can walk out. See that leaf. The lake is flowing still. Very cool. Gonna get back on my camera All right now. Not sure if I'm getting it. Bird flying. Not sure if I got it though. It's up there somewhere. Cruising down. Yeah, you can tell the leaves though. Definitely starting to change color. Probably going to lose the leaves pretty soon. They're probably already starting to fall off. And those geese over there, there's a guy out there, pretty close to him, out there fishing. He's pretty far in the lake. So that's how you know it's getting pretty shallow again, pretty low. As from this distance, I don't even know if you can see the guy, but I spotted him as soon as I switched cameras. But he's probably a good, man, he might be 50 feet off of shore. I'd say probably 25, 50 feet off of shore. So that's when you know the lake's getting low over there by the dam. like coming down here usually three times maybe four times a week it ends up being three or four times a week I come down here and just check out the lake it's actually been pretty cool since I've started doing this it's been hey there's a plane up there near it focus one out. But since I've been doing this, I started, when I started coming down here regularly, regularly, regular, I don't know how to talk, sorry. It was, the lake was low. I was able to walk pretty close to the dam in the middle of the water there. There was no water. And just recently they let water out and it was full. So it's been pretty cool to document, wouldn't say daily, like I said, it's probably three, four times a week, not quite daily every day, but that boat down there I saw, he's got his oars out, so might not even have a motor on it, or they got the motor up at least, just oaring, because it's shallow up here now. See if I can zoom in right past those boats. Might be those cranes coming back. A couple of birds racing along the top of the water there. We'll see what they are. Oh, maybe some geese. Are they loud. Geese. 
coming through. That was cool. Those, those geese were loud when they got close. That's going to be it for our little time down here at Lake Tanicomo this morning. Peaceful morning. Lake is going down again. Not as full as it was even at the beginning of the week. I was able to walk a little bit, which was cool. If you would, like the video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Check out all our other videos. And with that, we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.